Hello everybody, I'm Nickel. Welcome to another episode of Code Cop, the series where we go over pretty bad advice given in places like LinkedIn, Twitter or blogs and we try to learn from it and turn it into good advice. In today's video I have an absolute masterpiece of an advice telling you that you should not use booleans as method parameters, instead you should use enums. Now I do want to point out that there is a bit of truth to the fact that having booleans as parameters on a method is a bit of a code smell and I will address that as part of this video. However, I think the example used and the justification given is just completely terrible. And the great thing about this series is that with so many episodes in that you basically just send me what you find on LinkedIn. So I don't even have to search from them. And if you find some insane advice on LinkedIn, please send it over and I will make a video on it. So let's take a look at what the advice is before I show you all the code. So this is the piece of advice, code smells, Boolean blindness. Now this term is true, it exists. Boolean blindness is not a thing that the author of this post came up with. It is a known phenomenon. Now I do want to point out that as always, this is all anonymized. We don't want to trash talk anyone here and it doesn't matter who said it. What we're criticizing is the advice itself. So let's take a look at the code. Do not do this where we have the Boolean apply discount parameter over here that has some logic and then does something. Instead, create an enum called discount option, use none or apply discount to show two states. And then if the option is apply discount, then do something here. Oh, there's so much wrong with this. I'm actually getting heated already. Let me just point out something. I mean, at first glance, this doesn't actually solve anything. You're exactly where you were in the beginning both in performance, by the way, but also in logic. And I say performance because enums are value types, so you won't have any allocation. You're just going to copy the value the same way you would do with a Boolean over here. So there's nothing wrong in terms of a performance perspective here, at least in C Sharp, if you're a C Sharp developer. However, the author of this post went the extra mile and they used a named parameter on the method invocation. They said apply discount true which makes it extremely clear what's going on on this method invocation. Yeah, if you didn't have this, then I would be like, mate, what the hell is the, the true you're passing? But I can switch it up even further and say that with process order 1000, I don't know what the 1000 is. Is it the value of the order? Is it the serial number of the, like, I, I yes, maybe it is the order ID. And if I take a look, I can see it's order ID. But this whole code is just so, so bad to demonstrate the issue. Now, I do want to say that many reactions said just great advice. Good. As always, the LinkedIn algorithm just needs like two likes and your post will be boomed to like a billion impressions. That's why it's full of terrible advice. But the great thing is that this author is actually getting cooked in the comments. WTF, this is just bad advice. Enum for true value, ha ha ha, no thanks. And it goes on and on. So thankfully, first, there's no deleted comments. And second, people understand this is just bad. Don't do it. But let's take a look at the certification given as part of this blog, because I do want to give as much context as possible. So clean coding tape, overcoming Boolean blindness. Boolean blindness refers to the tendency of developers to overlook the pitfalls of using Boolean values, especially in conditionals, method returns, and data storage. This oversight can result in code that is difficult to read, maintain, or debug, leading to potential information loss when working with functions that operate on Boolean values. There is nothing, in my opinion, fundamentally wrong with this. Now, there would be if your method did two completely separate things depending on this uh, value, the value of this Boolean. And this is exactly the same, by the way, if you replace it with an enum. So if you pass down an enum and if the value is none, you do one thing. And if the value is applied discount, you do another thing. That potentially should be split into two codes and then you don't need to have the enum. But at some point you have some logic that determines that this thing needs a discount and this has to come from somewhere. So unless it's computed by something and then you call the method on the spot, you're going to have to pass down that state. So one of the common issues is ambiguous variable names. You literally couldn't have given a better name to this Boolean parameter you're passing, which is hilarious to me. Apply discount. True. Apply the discount. Like it, it reads, you know, am I crazy for thinking that? Or should apply discount or must apply discount or is discounted order or something like that. There is nothing ambiguous about the name. I don't understand the point. Uh, complex conditionals, 
there is no complex conditional statement. It's just an if check. And then you have information loss. And like, it's just... Uh, Chat GPT wrote this. There's no way someone wrote this. Like, I just don't... I'm gonna... You can pause if you want to read this notification. It makes zero sense. Like, longer debug time. Really, if you pass down a Boolean, you're gonna have a longer debug time. If you pass down an enum maintenance cost, a boolean can only have two values, so you know that you either look for true or for false. When you pass down an enum, an enum can have n amount of values, so you have to... It's hard to maintain because you have to read more, you have to debug longer to make sure the cases are covered, and you have to spend more time increasing maintenance costs. So the solution you're providing is worse than what you had. But the thing is, I did say in the beginning of the video that using boolean as parameters is or can be a problem. Why did I say that? Well, because this guy over here who has written a few very problematic books about writing clean code has said the following on the clean code book. What types of arguments should you never pass into a function? Booleans. Booleans. Don't pass Booleans into functions. Why not? Well, because if you pass a Boolean into a function, there must be an if statement in that function. And that if statement has two branches, the normal branch and the else branch. Why not just separate them into two functions? Call the one in the true case, call the other in the false case. Which has some truth to that, but I think it's the minority of the cases, not the majority. Because, well, yeah, sometimes you have to pass down a Boolean, and especially if you have more, like, extracted private methods in a class, it might be fine because they're not exposed publicly. Yeah, if you expose them publicly, maybe don't provide it with a Boolean variable. There's many reasons why you might want to have a Boolean as a parameter for a method. Using advice like don't use them because it's offensive or whatever Bob said is just... I don't know. It doesn't really make much sense to me because the majority of the methods can be just split in the middle and then split into two methods, one to represent each state of the Boolean value, because, well, not all of them can be just split on this point, take this out, and then this point, take this out, and say, I'm done. Some of them are interconnected. So what you end up having is two separate methods that duplicate of code. And if you don't want to do that, what you can do is you can extract the bodies of these methods that are common and have methods and then methods and methods and methods. And you have this terrible piece of code or clean code. There's just two line methods shared between two methods why? Because you couldn't pass down and apply discount boolean. It's, the thing is just so short-sighted. And it's all about this dogmatic way of writing clean code, which I just don't understand at all. I think this advice does have some truth to it. If you have a boolean you're passing down and the method is doing two completely separate things, if you're passing down a boolean, then yeah, split that method to two and use one method here, one method here with a nice clear name, process order or process discounted order. But in scenarios like this, and especially with solutions like this, the, the solution being the enum, I think this is just absolute terrible advice and you should not follow it. And by the way, I know I can look like a bit of a hypocrite because on Dome Train, my course platform, we have a course on writing clean code in C Sharp, but we actually take what those principles are and we transform them. We don't have just dogmatic things like this. So ultimately, I think this advice I just strongly disagree with, but I really, really want to know from you, what do you think about this? Leave a comment down below and let me know, because I know it can be a topic that can really be divided about. So leave a comment down below, let me know, and let's have a discussion. Well, that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, keep coding.